Hello everyone, my name is Preston Weiler. I'm one of the product marketing managers for ArcSight. And I'm very excited to announce that today, July 31st, 2020, marks the release of ArcSight 2020.2. ArcSight 2020.2 represents a significant step in the evolution of ArcSight as a holistic SecOps solution that provides layered analytics to security teams worldwide and enables them with simple, open, and intelligent SecOps. ArcSight 2020.2 introduces a number of upgrades across the ArcSight platform and premieres our next-gen logging and investigation tool, ArcSight Recon. While Recon serves primarily as an advanced threat hunting and compliance solution, it can also serve as a single event storage solution for the entire ArcSight portfolio. Another highlight of today's release is that it marks the first release of our behavioral analytics solution, Interset, as a fully integrated ArcSight tool now called ArcSight Interset. By bringing in Interset and Recon, ArcSight 2020.2 provides security teams with a truly unified SecOps platform where real-time correlation, behavioral analytics, and advanced threat hunting can all work together from a shared interface and a single storage solution. This release also includes some notable improvements to making SecOps more open and cloud-friendly with enhanced ArcSight support for Microsoft Azure, AWS, and cloud native deployments. That was some of the highlights. Now let's dig into the details. First, let's explore ArcSight Recon a little more. ArcSight Recon combines log management and storage with powerful security analytics and reporting. With it, you can immediately and intelligently search for threats without having to connect to an external analytics engine because it's already got one. Recon was built to make life easier for security professionals. That's why it comes with compliance reporting tools, query suggestions, and an intuitive user interface. Since Recon is built on ArcSight's unified platform, any ArcSight solution can utilize the data stored there, whether for behavioral analytics, real-time correlation, or advanced threat hunting. The result is that you collect data once, store it once, and then use it as many times as needed. Recon is scalable too. Your organization can start Recon on a single machine and add to that as needed over time. This makes it a lot easier for you to adapt to any future log management needs. Check out the Recon webpage in the description below to learn more about this new tool. Next, as noted earlier, ArcSight 2020.2 includes the release of ArcSight Interset 6.1, which marks the full integration of Interset into the ArcSight architecture. With this release, your SOC is now enabled with unmatched security through our layered analytics approach, unified platform, and single interface. By providing an easier path to uniting Interset's analysis with ESM's real-time correlation, your SOC will be better equipped to find elusive threats like insider threats and APTs. ArcSight Interset 6.1 also reduces Interset's overall footprint and deployment time and improves its analytics flexibility and user experience through integrations with ArcSight Recon and ArcSight Fusion so your analysts can detect and respond to threats in less time than ever before. ESM, our foundational real-time threat detection tool, has also received an update with its 7.3 release, which includes, in part, performance improvements and a more interactive API documentation experience through integration with the API tool Swagger. ESM 7.3 also offers enhanced integration with the newest release of ArcSight Fusion, our layered analytics UI. This integration gives admins the option to access the ESM command center directly from the Fusion UI and vice versa. Fusion 1.1, meanwhile, expands its role in the ArcSight portfolio by adding support for ArcSight Recon, new widgets to convey system health of the Recon infrastructure, and a new software development kit to help developers build and publish their own ArcSight Fusion widgets. ArcSight Logger 7.1 has introduced several cool features that make life easier for security analysts. Persisted search results, an enhanced search UI, and storage improvements will be covered in future videos. Logger peer monitoring and definable roles let you tune your logger resources based on role and lets you see what resources are used during logger searches. It lets you forward your data to the Transformation Hub and also gives you the option to forward data to AWS for archiving. Finally, as you can see, our Security Open Data Platform, SODP, saw a lot of updates in ArcSight 2020.2 as well. The biggest news is that Smart Connectors received cloud-native support for AWS and Azure, 
and that the Transformation Hub can now be deployed in Azure. With Azure connectors and integrations, Transformation Hub can leverage Azure hosted security services and capabilities. It also has a new CDF doctor that will help troubleshoot any containerized deployment issues you may encounter, just in case you need assistance. Together, these releases form our ArcSight 2020.2 release. Thanks for listening in today. We've only covered highlights of the release in this video, so if you'd like to learn more, we recommend you check out the links in the description below and that you contact Microfocus Sales with any questions or inquiries you may have. Thanks again.